Hello and welcome to Iron Speed Designer. I'm going to take you on a quick tour of Iron Speed Designer and show you how to build and modify your first application. Before we start, I recommend enlarging your media viewer to full screen so you can better view the demonstration. To get started, I'd like to show you two sample applications built with Iron Speed Designer. The first is a straightforward database application featuring a variety of data input and display pages, plus some built-in reporting. It's a great example of a data-bound application. You'll see an application masthead at the top, a navigation menu, and a data display page underneath. Note there are several pages in each pull-down menu. Use the pagination control to go from page to page. Click the column headings to sort, and use the buttons to perform specific actions. For example, click the Add or Edit buttons to see a data entry form. The second application shows more sophisticated layout and presentation. You'll notice this page features tables within tables. The education and employment tables are shown within the context of a job application table. Now let me show you how to build applications like these in IronSpeed Designer. After starting IronSpeed Designer, click the Create a New Application button to get started. The Application Wizard takes you step by step through the process of creating a new application. You can also use the Application Wizard to modify an existing application, so don't worry if you don't get everything right the first time. I'm going to click Next to go to the Page Styles step. The Page Styles step in the Application Wizard presents a palette of attractive themes which will be used to create your application's initial set of web pages. For now, I'm going to select the Kilimanjaro style and proceed. IronSpeed Designer helps you build database reporting and workflow applications, so selecting a set of database tables to underpin your application is important. This step and the next one take you through the process of selecting a database server and one or more database tables. I'm going to use a database that's on my machine and proceed. IronSpeed Designer can generate many different page types for the database tables and views you select, including data entry and display pages, reporting pages, and workflow pages. I'm going to accept the defaults recommended and select several tables and one view in the database. I'll create these nine pages for these ten tables and views. Please note that not all page types may be available if you're using free edition or professional edition. If you're using database views, IronSpeed Designer can optionally create additional pages if you define unique primary key and foreign key relationships for the views. For now, I'm going to skip this step. IronSpeed Designer can generate an application viewable in multiple languages, a particularly handy feature for those in a multilingual region such as Europe. For now, I'm going to use a single language. Finally, IronSpeed Designer can generate applications in C Sharp or Visual Basic, and with either SQL stored procedures or inline SQL. I'm going to accept the defaults and move to the finish step. We're ready to generate our application. As you can see, I'm going to generate over 80 web pages and associated code files. IronSpeed Designer generates your application's web pages, code files, and stored procedures. After creating the application files, your application is automatically started in a browser within IronSpeed Designer. As you already know, the Microsoft.NET Framework dynamically compiles .NET applications at runtime. This may cause you to experience a 15 to 30 second delay when starting your freshly built application. And here's our generated application. After generating your application, you will be placed in the live preview screen. At this point, you can switch to the design mode to customize page layout and configure various application components. At the left is an application explorer for selecting individual pages to display and edit. The page panels shows each major section of the page including header, menu, panels, and the footer. The page panels is a logical group of various sections of the page. Select a panel to view its layout. The quick layout editor for a table panel shows the column headings, the data row, and the totals row. Simply drag and drop controls to change the layout. And just like a spreadsheet, you can right-click to insert rows or columns. You can also view and modify the specific code methods IronSpeed Designer created for the selected control, as well as view the documentation generated for your application. 
The toolbox at the right shows additional fields, labels, and other controls that you can drag and drop to the Quick Layout Editor. And don't worry, all of your changes to the page will be preserved. In addition to the toolbox, you can also use the Panel Wizard to configure panels. Right-click the panel and select the Fields step to display the pa Panel Wizard. I'm going to quickly move through the wizard steps and deselect several fields. I'll also add the Order Details Child panel to the order displayed in the row. Next I'm going to change several button options. Finally, I'm going to add a few filters. As you may notice, there are many other configuration options in the panel wizard you can explore. You can also change display styles, data bindings, and other important properties for individual components on the page. Just double-click a component to display the Properties dialog, or right-click the component and select the Properties option. For our application, I'll change the display style for this component from Text Box to List Box. Now let's see the changes we've made. Switching to Live Preview automatically builds our application so we can review the changes. Here's our modified application, which I encourage you to explore. Let's quickly tour several other important screens in IronSpeed Designer. First are the code tabs, which show you generated application code. You can easily add code customizations here or use Microsoft Visual Studio. Next is the documentation tab. This documentation is also available right right clicking most objects in design mode. Finally, Click on the Databases folder in the Application Explorer. Here is where you tell IronSpeed Designer how to treat individual database fields, as well as set virtual primary keys and virtual foreign keys. There's plenty more to show, but this is enough to get started. You can always come back and view this video again. A link is displayed on the Start tab, along with other more advanced videos to help you get the most out of IronSpeed Designer. Thank you very much for your attention, and good luck with IronSpeed Designer.